Yo, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? Wolf back with a very special vehicle today. Today we are riding with the California Highway Patrol. And not really too much to say about this vehicle. It's made by Chief, of course. And I was craving some CHP today. So we are in the 2016 Ford Explorer with the California Highway Patrol. However, today we are not in your standard black and white. We are in the polar bear version of the Explorer. And let's go ahead and take a look at this vehicle. First up, we are in a slick top. Now, for those that are not familiar with the California Howard Patrol, they do have all white vehicles with their uh, signature uh, iconic logo on the side. Now, obviously, I would recommend one thing that has to raise that up quite a bit on the door it is way too low. However, other than that, the second thing that is missing is their iconic uh, safety service and security motto on the back there right below the back glass now this is a stealth unit now um, with the polar bear version of the Explorer Dodge Charger and also the Crown Victoria they do th they do this in real life where they do not put anything uh, anything on the back uh, now normally it would say highway patrol but they, they're, some of their explorers, they do not put anything on the back, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, we do have unit numbers on the top of the roof. So other than that, it is looking extremely, extremely sexy today. Now, let me tell you guys something real fast. These lights, setting up these lights were, it was a bitch, okay? I ain't gonna lie. It was definitely not fun to set these lights up and sync them like this. However, we managed to get it. Um, unfortunately, I do wish I could sync the grill up with the mirror lights and the uh, dash light there. However, you know, we're working with what we got. Now, California Highway Patrol on their slick tops do have very minimal lighting. However, it is an iconic police car. That is for fucking sure. Um, all I got to say is, Chief, you did good with this one. I do love me some polar bears every now and then. So, very, very cool to actually be driving this in the server. So, um, other than that recommendation, those two recommendations is all I have. Other than that, it looks very sexy indeed. Um, because I do love polar bears. Alright, one up on radio. I'm going to be 10-8. Uh, starting area is going to be 49-37. So we are now 10-8. Um, second thing I wish I could do, obviously, is get the red spotlight. Unfortunately, we're going to have to work with what we got, and we have the uh, white spotlight. Um, I wish FL would make that a possibility to change the color of the spotlight. That would be a definitely a big step for the California players. That is for fucking sure. So we are going to leave the spotlight up in the aggressive manner. As most of y'all know, I do leave my spotlight tucked most of the time. However, being we are running CHP and we are going to pretend that it is a red spotlight, we're going to leave it up uh, today. It definitely does look extremely aggressive um, with the spotlight up. So we are 10-8 in the CAD. Let's go ahead and see what we can get into. Maybe we can get into a pursuit. Um, it, you know, that'd be very cool. Now, um, for those that do not know, FL made a recent update where the visor light, uh, which is that long bar, they put that inside the vehicle. Now, it used to be on top of the vehicle right above the tailgate. And that is actually what CHP does with their slick tops, uh, at least with the Explorer anyway. Uh, even the Tahoe. Uh, even if it has a light bar, they'll put a secondary um, bar um, to help visibility. So, it's, you know, there are days I wish I could choose the option of where I want that bar to be. Um, because obviously if I'm RPing California, I want that to, I want that bar to be on top of the vehicle, uh, right by the tailgate. But you know what? It is what it is. We're going to have to work with what we got. So, we're running light license plates today in the Polar Bear um, let's go ahead and see what we can get into. Maybe we can locate a stolen vehicle because for some reason pursuits have been popping off these last couple of days. We are going to be working the 20. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can get into. And look at that. I just caught something. I believe it's this truck right here that is coming back stolen. It is. So we're going to go ahead and get behind it and go from there. One up one radio. I won't be behind a stolen pickup truck. It's going to be uh, going westbound 69, um, entering the city at this time. It's going to be 1918, 1918. Um, license plate is going to be standby. It's going to be C7947W, C7947, uh, uh, 74 w I'm going to be lighting up here momentarily.
when I've won lights initiated. He's currently failure to yield this time. Vehicle is passing a car on the right. It looks like this is going to be a 1080. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. There you go. Went up one um, current 1080. Vehicle is making a turn. Looks like he's making a U-turn. Negative. Still continuing. Going to be making a left turn in the city. One up one. Slow, slow speeds. It's going to be about 20 miles an hour. Vehicle stopping once again. It's going to be 1931, 1931. Looks like we're going to be coming on a dead end. Uh, vehicle's reversing. Just hit my vehicle. God damn it. Gotta love it. Just struck my vehicle. What happened? When we're going through the loop right now. I need some 32s. Vehicle just slammed on the brakes. Keeps brake checking me. Gotta love it. A little bit of that curb action. <laughs> Test the suspension out, goddammit. One up one. Coming back around at this time. Just blew the red light. Traffic's not really working with me. It's going to be light traffic. Maybe medium traffic. Speeds are going to be about uh, 20 miles an hour. Go ahead and get me some city PD units. One up one, 2032, 2032. Just passed a vehicle on the left. Blue shoe, red lights, still continuing going underneath the tunnel at this time. It's going to be 2433. Oh, God. Just 1050 with a vehicle. Very slow speeds. Driver's not experienced, that's for sure. One up one, we're now heading towards the industrial area at this time. Uh, light traffic. Speed's going to be about 20, 30 miles an hour. 29, 33. One up one, we are heading towards the industrial area. Can I go ahead and get some 32s and get spike uh, spikes down, please? Alright, so this vehicle is running from us. Um, Stolen tags, of course he's going to run from us, but um, really unexperienced. Uh, keeps slamming on the brakes, brake checking me, and very, very unfortunate. Back where we started. 1F1 update, Postal is going to be 3734, 3734 industrial area. We're going to be passing the substation at this time. <clears throat> Speed is still going to be about 30 miles an hour. 1F1, be advised, keep slamming on the brakes. Uh, next time he does that, I'm going to be going for a pit. Driver is California Highway Patrol. Stop the vehicle now. Stop. Stop. 1F1, be advised, I'm giving multiple commands over the PA. He's still fleeing from me at this time. Keep slamming on the brakes. Doesn't know what to do. Yeah, you're not doing that, buddy. One up one. Uh, blew the red light. One up one. Attempted pit. Unsuccessful. I got heavy traffic right now. Get out the passenger side. Gotta love it. One up one. I attempted to get out, but uh, subject's taking off, heading towards the interstate right now. Oh, I tried to go for that pit. Out the car. Get out the car right now. Get out the car right now. If you move, it's not going to be good. If you move, it's not going to be good. One up one. Just struck my vehicle. Going around right now. Ooh, Jesus Christ, that's reverse. God, I love it. One up one. Subject's going to be taking the interstate.
heading towards the four right now. Interstate 69 is going to be going uh, eastbound, eastbound. Speed is going to be about 80 miles an hour at this time. Going to be in the right lane. Woohoo! Let's go, boy! One up one. We are going to be taking the four. Subject still fleeing from us. It's going to be going northbound towards Codtown. Update postal 6749. 6749. Speed's going to be about uh, 80 miles an hour. What happened when we might stopping in the middle of the road and we're going to be continuing on the 4 uh, no traffic at this time speed's 80 miles an hour when I one no traffic at this time update postal it's going to be 6265 6265 heading towards the suburb speeds uh, solid 80 no traffic Ooh, this is a fucking nice pursuit right now. Until that happens. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, baby. One up one subject stopping. Hey, put your hands up right now! No, you don't. Oh, God damn. I just face planted the fuck out of that. Hey, put your hands up right now. Put your hands up right now. Thank you. Don't move. 1F1, final stop is going to be six, uh, 46 six, seven, 46 six, seven. Uh, Subjects in custody. What are you running for? You got anything uh, sharp that's going to hit uh, hurt me in any way? Okay, perfect. You got a weapon on you? All right, come with me. Come, come. We gotta go ahead and try to close this road down. Alright, watch your head. Don't move. Make sure I have my uh, directional on. All right, so subject ran off from us uh, unexpectedly. Look at that! You got to. You're an idiot. Got to love it, man. <laughs> there it is. So let's go ahead and search the vehicle. Um, clearly doesn't know what the fuck uh, the directional means. Either that or you just can't fucking see it because they stuffed it way too high on the Explorer to a point where you can't even see it. How many times I see units driving around with their directionals on, they're like, I didn't know it was on. Alright, so we're searching the vehicle now. We already recovered a, a firearm um, off the uh, subject in question. Um, man, California Highway Patrol would be, not be playing around today. Um... Got a Santa suit. Got to love it. There it is. I hope that's not hers. <coughs> so let's go ahead and finish searching this uh, vehicle here in the lighter. I'm not even going to search the back. 1F1 requesting tow 4667 on the bridge. It's going to be up for a gray pickup. Alright, so tow is in route. I'm going to go ahead and exit the area um, before we have an accident. Um, and we'll pull over to the side here in a minute that way we can talk to this driver of the uh, stolen vehicle so but the main concern right now is getting off of the roadway hazard lights and everything it still runs into me got to love it all right so toes here anyway let's go ahead and turn our directional off we don't need it All right, so uh, let's go ahead and stop here on the grass so we can speak to this driver.
All right, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, just so you know, you are under arrest for the uh, fleeing and eluding from LEO in possession of a stolen vehicle, okay? So you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be provided to you by the state at no cost to you, okay? Now, uh, do you wish to answer my questions? Why are we running today? Where'd you get the vehicle from? Okay. Heard, okay, all right. All right, so you're going to be process, uh, booked and processed for that, okay? All right, ma'am, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, also, uh, you got your ID on you? All right. S Ms. Scott, do me a favor. Uh, just so you're aware, there might be a another charge pending for uh, possible DUI and also possession of a firearm without a permit, okay? Yep, I'll let you know when uh, if we find that out. Thank you. All right, so I forgot to mention that she may be getting another charge for the possession of a firearm without a permit um, because we did recover a, a firearm off her person. So let's go ahead and run her information and see what we got going on. So expected does not have a permit. Uh, driver's license is expired. One previous arrest and five parking tickets. Got to love it. There it is. All right, so she... Hey, ma'am, you are being charged with illegal possession of a firearm without a permit, Okay. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and head back to the station and uh, go from there. So I think this is a, a job well done by the California Highway Patrol. Um, for sure, it did a great job there. Good communication, as always. CHP obviously is very, very professional over the radio and also in person. Um, there's actually a video uh, going around right now. Um, I, I lost my shit when I saw it because I was laughing so hard. Um, of a pursuit that was taking place <laughs> and, uh, you got him going over the PA and he's going stop moving the fucking car pull the fuck over <laughs> so it's, it's like, I don't blame him man I don't blame him Like, uh, pursuits are fun at times but there are days you just don't want to deal with that stupid shit and uh, believe me I know it and whenever that happens I work city PD if I want it to be quiet I'm going to go to the city and work down there um, because obviously our city PD has a no pursuit policy. Um, they let county and state uh, or the highway patrol handle that. So, so we're now heading towards Cot Town. One F one radio. Be advised and be uh, ten fifteen with one female heading to the uh, county jail. Looks like our tow truck driver is still there. Oh, got to love, got to fucking love it. Yeah, that makes sense. Good job, dumbass. And there's our tow guy just walking down the street. You have got to fucking love it. There it is. That makes so much sense. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, you will get a phone call when you get to the station, okay? I appreciate you uh, somewhat working with us. Even though you attempted to uh, uh, jump off the bridge there, we saved you from jumping off. Were you planning on jumping off that bridge? Oh, you are? Okay. Well, I'm glad that uh, you're still with us, and I'm glad I was there to prevent you from doing that. I kind of hurt my face a little bit, though, because I face-planted the side of the wall. But I'm glad you're okay, all right? <laughs> I forgot about that. I really did, didn't I? <laughs> she was she was planning on jumping off that bridge, so uh, I'm glad California Highway Patrol was there to stop her from doing that. Um, that would not be good. So we are now in Cod Town. This is technically Cod Town City Limits. So let's go ahead and head towards the uh, station and get her processed. Let the county guys handle this. Because <clears throat> so technically we're in the county. We're in Island County. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we got going on. Oh man, that van saw me and was like, fuck! That's California Highway Patrol. Can't do that. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Anytime I bring out the California Highway Patrol cars, it's like the AI sees the side of the car and it's like, fuck. <laughs> but you know what? I don't blame them. They definitely have that intimidating car. That is for fucking sure. One up one twenty three station. All right, so we are now at the station. Let's go ahead and pull in here. And um, I, I feel like there should be a gate there. They got a gate the city PD, but not these stations? Come on. Need a gate or like a sliding gate. Lock down this whole area, so technically this shouldn't, shouldn't be an open parking lot, you know what I mean? 
So we are 23 jail. Oof, that is sexy, sexy, sexy. All right, ma'am, do me a favor. Watch your head. All right, so you are you are aware of the charges that you're being charged with? Okay, wanted to make sure, all right. I hope you do get your life straightened out, and hopefully they help you out. Hey, jail staff, how we doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, she's being charged with illegal possession of a firearm, filly, and fleeing and eluding, and also possession of a stolen vehicle. Alrighty, jail staff will take good care of you. Uh, name's going to be Miss Scott. Thank you. Alright, so hopefully she gets uh, taken care of. Um, honestly, you know, it's a very, very sad thing to see. Ooh, goddamn. Look at that explorer. Too bad I can't update the uh, spotlight. Uh, FL, come on. Let's update the spotlight, or at least change the lens color. That would be uh, very, very cool to add. Um, what happened on radio? I'm 10-8, back in service. So we're going to go ahead and leave the station here. Get get back on the road and see what else we can get into. Turn a little bit some of that headlight action. Um, now, I did talk about this in a previous video. Um, I am planning on doing a... Uh, a it's going to be a long video. It's probably going to be about a 40-minute video of me talking about what FL needs to do to make this game better. Um, and one of the things I wish I could do, number one, is disable those godforsaken halos because they, cop car, they, they don't have them. They disable them every single time. Um, the second thing is uh, if I could change the headlight color to an LED tone, um, so that white, blue toned headlight, you know what I'm talking about? A lot of the newer explorers like the 16, the 17, 18, and 19 uh, have LED headlights. They do not have halogen. These are halogen headlight color um so yeah it would be nice to uh, update that um other than that let's go ahead and get back on the road um just for realism um as most of y'all know i used to run a 5m server back in the day and i used to do that too anytime i was driving an explorer i would update that headlight color every single fucking time um because I, I i'm very ocd about my fucking car it's just ridiculous to a point where it's just like if it doesn't look like the way i want it to look i'm not going to work it I'm not going to play it. Um, and a lot of people don't like that about me because I'm, I'm that picky. I'm like the fucking food critic or the goddamn health inspector coming into the restaurant and getting ready to literally fuck somebody in the ass because, you know, I found a violation. So so we got another stolen van. So I'm going to go ahead and trail that. He's turning. So let's go ahead and get in position. It's going to be that van up there. Lots and lots of stolen uh, vehicles going on. So it's... Very interesting. We're actually going to do some illegal shit here. Because we got to get behind this vehicle. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but... When Apple One Radio and behind a stolen... Another stolen vehicle. It's going to be 6970. License plate is going to be F3949A. F3949A. It's going to be a gray van. Unknown amount of occupants in the vehicle. We're currently outskirting uh, uh, Cod Town right now gonna be uh, 75 69 I'm gonna light him up here momentarily oh god damn if yeah if the, if the lettering was up just a little bit and you had the uh, um, the motto in black then it would look very legit all right so let's go ahead and light this uh, vehicle up one up one I just uh, initiated my lights and he's going to be speeding up, so I believe this is going to be a 1080. A firm vehicle is attempting uh, to flee from us. Come on, move out the way. One up one, speed's going to be about 70 miles an hour. Uh, side road of Cod Town. We got a gray van. He doesn't know what to do. He does not know what to do. Driver, California Highway Patrol, stop, stop. Stop your vehicle. Stop your vehicle. One after one be advised, just backed up and rammed into me. Heavy traffic. One after one be advised, very heavy traffic. It's going to be 71, 67. One after one be advised, just backed up into me again. Driver, stop your vehicle. All right, so we're going to be fleeing at this time. Woo, got to love it. Oh, Major 1050, 1F1 Major 1050 involving a black pickup truck. Uh, subject still moving, though. 
going to be going past the exit to the four, going to be continuing towards the entrance of Cod Town. Looks like we're going to be going into Cod Town. A firm, very, very wide turn. We just whipped it. He's whipping the van. Got to love it. Uh, nearest postal is oh, just 1050 with a fire hydrant. Driver, turn the car off! One up one. We're still going to be continuing. He's having a good old time with the uh, fire hydrant. It just cannot move. Driver, turn your... Okay. 58.72. Going to be passing the uh, sheriff's station right now. And we're going to be going back down the same road we did before. He just 1050. He just 1050 with a trash can. Still continuing. One half one. Uh, taking off once again. 60 miles an hour. We, oh, major 1050 with the guardrail. Driver, turn the car off right now! Just struck my vehicle once again. He just cannot get over the guardrail. One up one. Final stop is going to be 5970. He just cannot get over that guardrail. Stop the car! Right now! Stop it! And we're going to be taking off. He's kind of stuck right now on the guardrail. Driver, get out the car right now. One up, one be advised. Subject out. Hey, put your hands up right now. Put your hands up right now. Subject not complying. Taser deployed. Seventy seventy. Driver, put your hands up right now. There we go. One up, one hands are up. He is complying at this time. Do not move. You understand me? One up, one radio ten. 10 15 at this time, it's going to be 70 70. Hey, why are you running? You know me, people you put at risk? You got anything on you? Okay. I kind of wish you told me about that weapon in your pocket. So, right now, you're being under arrest for the uh, fleeing and eluding and also possession of a stolen vehicle. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the law. You have the right to have an attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be provided to you at no cost to you by the state, okay? Do me a favor, get in the vehicle because you done pissed me off. You ran my vehicle two different times, okay? Sit down. So, we're going to go ahead and reposition our car. There we go. Got to do that multiple times to get traffic to stop. Come on, move. Driver, move your vehicle now. Got to fucking love it. Seems legit. Gotta love it. I'm gonna turn our pretend LED uh, red spotlight off because we don't need it now. Oh, now you fucking move. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and check this vehicle out and see what we're working with. I'm actually unsure. I'm kind of curious to see what we got. Um, so let's go ahead and search the guardrail. There it is. Seems legit. The days, I don't know why they don't allow you to get into the uh, subject's vehicle to move it. That should definitely be an option to move the vehicle. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a bolt-action rifle on the uh, passenger side. Unsure if that's his or if that is uh, the occupant's, uh, of the, the original owner of the vehicle's rifle. Either or, he's going to be charged with it. So illegal possession of a firearm without a permit. An air horn. That makes sense in the back of a cargo van. There it is. We are going to run his ID here momentarily. Man, cut down be popping today. <laughs> and we got several boxes of uh, ammunition, so there it is. Alrighty. One Apple One requesting tow 7069.
going to be for a uh, gray uh, box van. Uh, there we go. All right, so van, uh, I'm sorry, the tow truck is on the way. There he is right there. Didn't really have to drive far. The station was right down the road. Oh, the Explorer is looking good today. All right, sir, do you have your, um, do you have your ID? Where is that located, sir? Thank you. Warrior Myers, uh, okay, I, I know you. Thank you. We've stopped Roy Myers before uh, for the same exact thing. He clearly has not learned his uh, his lesson uh, in regards to the uh, stealing of vehicles. I believe that's what I charged him with before. So, got to love it. So, let's go ahead and run his name. I believe his uh, my arrest on him might be showing up. Yeah, I, that might be my arrest. That is fucking hilarious. So that might be my arrest um, from a week ago. I'm unsure though, but I definitely remember the name Roy Myers. So that that I don't know if that I don't know even know if they synced that, but if they do, that'd be fucking awesome. Um, either that, very very clear, no weapons permit, um, one previous arrest, and six traffic violations. So um, very very unfortunate. Again, I would love to be able to click those buttons and see what the arrest was, um, see what the violations were. And go from there. That'd be a nice little touch they could add in the future. That's for sure. Okay, uh, Mr. Myers. So you are under arrest for the uh, fleeing and eluding from LEO. Okay. Uh, possession of a stolen vehicle. Possession of a illegal firearm without a permit. Do you understand? Okay, perfect. I want to make sure you're up to date on that, okay? Alright. One after one, I'll be heading back to the station with one adult male. All right, so we are good to go back 10-8 in service. God damn, he is lucky I have a subject in my car. <laughs> very, very lucky indeed. But anyway, as I was saying earlier regarding the, uh, like, clean backside of this Explorer, this does, they do actually, god damn, that car has so many red flags. God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, they do this in real life. Uh, the only dead giveaway that they have on their actual low-profile vehicles is the massive amount of antennas uh, that they have on top of their cruiser. Um, and usually it has the uh, bottom half of the wrap on the push bar, uh, or technically the brush, brush guard part of the push bar is all they have on their cars. They don't have full wraps. Um, I'll explain what I'm talking about in just a minute. 1F123 jail. Uh, so on CHP's um, Explorer, they have the option to add a piece of plastic that covers the bottom half of the uh, push bar. Um, their Polar Bear, I believe, does have that. I think one of them does. Um, the funny story is a lot of their Polar Bears are 14 models. Um, so they still have the uh, halogen lights. Uh, they have the fog lights at the bottom. Um, the They don't have this 7 like um, tail light, they actually have the, uh, the little circle uh, tail light with the blinker in the middle. It's very, very cool. Like, uh, I, like I said, the Explorer is my favorite car, so uh, I am hoping they add. They take my advice. I did put a suggestion that they have a drop-down menu in the menu that will allow you to choose the the different year of Explorer, Charger, or even uh, the Tahoe. Um, that will attract so many fucking people including myself because I am OCD like a motherfucker for my vehicles um so that would definitely be very cool sir can you be fair watch your head there you go alright sir so you are aware of what you're being charged with and everything like that okay want to make sure you're up to date on it <clears throat> alright guys this is Warry Myers yeah he's back he just literally got out the other day, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, fleeing and eluding, possession of a stolen vehicle, and possession of a legal firearm. <laughs> All right, worry. Uh, jail staff will take good care of you. Got to love it. There it is. So maybe we will see Worry in a different ep a later episode. Who knows? But uh, he definitely needs to get his shit together. That is for goddamn sure. Holy fuck. All right, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's going to conclude this episode with the California Highway Patrol. I'm not going to lie. Uh, lots of recommendations before I end this episode. I do want to 
talk and give my advice regarding this vehicle. Very, very clean vehicle, that is for fucking sure. I, I, I'm a big fan of the Polar Bears, especially the Explorer. However, recommendations is definitely raise this up just a little bit more. It's way too low on the vehicle. The, it does not go this low on the actual Polar Bears. Um, the original black and white pack that Cheap did was the perfect amount of where it needs to be on the door. And then, of course, even the stealth units have uh, safety service and security. It's kind of like their motto. They have this in black on their polar bears as well. Other than that, it looks very, very sexy indeed. I like the fact it is a low-profile vehicle without the lettering on the back. Um, but like I said, some of their polar bears do have the wording on the back to say Highway Patrol. And some of them even have... Uh, they're starting to put this on all of their cars, but these new bumper stickers that say Apply Today with the, uh, I think it's a charger in the background of the bumper sticker. Looks very, very sexy indeed. Um, so add little details like that uh, are very, very, very cool indeed. So with that being said, this is going to conclude this episode of the California Howard Patrol. I do appreciate everybody coming out, and I think we will see you guys in the next episode. You guys are fucking awesome. Peace!